In the case of Fiona's daughter, the offender didn't resort to threats. Instead, he manipulated this young girl with attention and made her feel special, something that an introverted child can crave. And Fiona's daughter fell for it and fell hard. I think she, like most young women out there, became addicted to the attention that he was bestowing on her. So whilst we've just pointed out some of the really horrendously negative stuff, there was lots of, you're just so beautiful, you know, you're a a gorgeous person inside and out, I can't wait to hold you in my arms. And that stuff, I think, is what she clung to. So whilst she knew that the the sexual talk and, and asking for nude images and things like that were definitely inappropriate, I think she clung to sometimes this is really uh, sweet and, and beautiful and it makes me feel really good about myself. So I don't believe she ever took steps to to block him or to tell anyone about it because that became a real focus of her life. It made her feel just as good about herself as what it did make her feel horrendous, if that makes any sense. She, in a sense, knew what was happening was wrong. I think she felt pretty powerless to stop it and she certainly felt powerless to let anyone know, which um, is probably the most hurtful thing out of it for me as her mum, is that she didn't feel that she could come to me and and tell me what was going on. And that's something that has continued to affect our relationship to this day. You know, three and a half years later, it's, it's still something that I struggle with. 